Hi guys, this is Janine from Pangolin Photo Safaris and today I want to talk to you about how to shoot with both eyes open in wildlife photography. If you do enjoy our content, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button just down below in order to get notification for all the new videos coming out. Alrighty, let's get started. Shooting with both eyes open. Well, that is easier said than done because it depends on which eye of ours is the dominant eye. 70% of the world's population is right eye dominant, which is why cameras are laid out the way they are with the viewfinder set slightly to the left hand side so that our nose has some space to go past on the other angle. But 29% of the world's population is left eye dominant and they really do struggle because they have to hold their face quite awkwardly towards the right angle of the camera so that their nose is always sort of in the way. About 1% of the population has no dominant eye at all. If you want to know which of your eyes is dominant, there is a very, very easy test. You form a triangle with your fingers and you focus on a distant subject far away. If you close your left eye and that subject is still in the center of that triangle, that means you're right eye dominant. However, if that subject has shifted completely out of your triangle, that would mean you're left eye dominant. Can you change your dominance? Yes, with a lot of training you can, or even with a laser surgery, that is quite drastic measures that maybe professional archers would take. Um, I wouldn't advise it for a hobby photographer. But let's continue with those that have no trouble shooting through their right eye, therefore holding the camera like this. And it's quite natural that people close their left eye so they focus on the image that they th see through the viewfinder on their right eye. However, if you're so focused on that one particular subject, you tend to not perceive any other movements in your environment and you might miss out, especially in wildlife photography. I want to take a particular example. For instance, if you're watching a kingfisher, let's say a pike kingfisher, dive multiple times possibly bathing in order to preen himself afterwards. There is no way you'll be taking the camera down and up quick enough that you can get the shot where the pike kingfisher re-emerges out of the water with all the water falling off. So I tend to suggest to my, my guest to focus on the water somewhat in the area that you have been observing the kingfisher to dive in. Um, choose a high f-stop, high depth of field for some error margin. But then the best trick is to keep the left eye open. So with the right eye, you're currently observing the water so that you can find the area that the pike kingfisher is diving into. And he takes a moment to turn around in the water and come back up. So you have a split second there. But with the left eye, you're watching the branch, the perch that the pike kingfisher has chosen in order to dive down from. So the split second that he departs from his perch, you're fully aware of it. So you're ready to search the waters for when the pike kingfisher hits. So the way it should be looking in your brain is it should be one image that merges together. So on the one side you see the pike kingfisher sitting in and on the other side you see the smooth water surface. So you have two images merged into one in your brain. It takes quite a lot of concentration effort but allows you to gauge the situation right. That holds for quite a lot of the action photography. If you want to get that shot of the cheetah jumping on, on a kill, so you, you, you're watching that cheetah, but you want to make sure you're not missing, missing out the animals running away or other action movement in there. So keep both eyes open. You'll miss out on a lot less that's going on out there. You might notice other action and quickly divert your attention to see if it's of interest. 
and last but not least squinting your eye all the time is actually rather uncomfortable and might even give you wrinkles at the end of the day so if you're right eye dominant try it out shoot with both eyes open especially when it comes to action photography relax your face breathe in breathe out it takes a bit of concentration but with a little bit of practice you can get used to it if you have any questions with regards to shooting with both eyes open or any comments or ideas how you could potentially retrain yourself please leave them in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you and i really hope i see you soon again bye bye